Day 15 on the CDT. I am still here at Gila Hot Springs Ranch. I'm just chilling today, zero day, doing zero day activities. I uh, just got back from Doc Campbell's where I had my third pizza since I've been here. The hiker hunger has definitely kicked in, but yeah, just trying to relax today. I worked on my blisters a little bit, got all that dead skin cut off. Hopefully I can heal those up here in the hot springs in a little bit. And uh, yeah, I'm just getting ready for this next section. Picked up a few more things for this long stretch and getting ready to pack all this up. I got seven days to Pie Town, so hopefully everything goes good for that. Feet stay in order and the river crossings aren't too bad. But yeah, I'm just going to chill here the rest of the day and enjoy my day off. And tomorrow we will hit it. All right, here we go. Finally leaving. This behind this red building is the RV park back there. And then right across the street here is Doc Campbell's. So super convenient. Everyone's so nice here, so friendly. But uh, time to get moving. I've got a long stretch here. My pack is heavy. I got like 15 pounds of food, seven days to get me to Pie Town. And uh, yeah, excited for this next stretch. Once I get to Pie Town, I feel like it's kind of a big deal. I'm like halfway through New Mexico. So I feel like I need to get somewhere. Feet are feeling okay. So we'll see how the day goes. But I have three mile road walk to the Gila Cliff Dwellings Monument. And then there's like a mile loop there and probably check that out for an hour or so. And then onto the trail. No real goal in mind. Um, I kind of got to do like 20 miles a day to make it to the Pie Town in seven days. So just make it as far as we can, but let's go. Okay, so the visitor center is not where you're supposed to go to see the cliff dwellings, apparently. Um, you don't really need to go there unless you want to. The pink line that I'm following on far out goes right through here, but you cannot see the cliff dwellings from there. So I got to backtrack a little bit, and the cliff dwelling is two miles up this other road. And then I just backtrack a little bit to this area called TJ Corral, where I will get on the high route for about four miles and then hook up with another trail that will take me back down to the Gila River route. So um, yeah, you don't really need to go to the visitor center unless you need to use the bathroom or want to find out more about the history of the area. So we'll uh, see the cliff dwellings here eventually, but it might take a little bit longer than I thought. Gila Cliff Dwellings. That place was awesome. I'm on my road walk back to TJ Corral, but uh, I learned a lot there. I always had this thought in my mind that they had dug that place out, but it's obviously, you know, water erosion that created that space. And apparently it was like a huge volcano in this area that erupted 500,000 years ago and just been wearing since then. So 
only occupied up to 750 years ago. So it's kind of crazy to think that people live there that short of a time ago, but awesome. Definitely worth the side trip this morning. And uh, we'll get back to the trail here eventually, hopefully. So if you're a future CDT hiker, what I probably would have done if I would have known these spots were here was uh, walk the five miles from Doc Campbell's here last night. And there's two free campgrounds, Lower Scorpion and Upper Scorpion. And you can camp there for free and then do the quick walk into cliff dwellings and then back to the trail. But I didn't realize that I was walking all the way up here. So I would have done that if I would have known. miles in here this is the junction if you want to stay on the high route you go that way if you want to go back down to the Gila Bear Canyon Trail so I'm headed down to the the Gila it's actually pronounced Gila I learned earlier uh, we're gonna head down there once I get down there I'll stop for some lunch it'll probably be almost two o'clock by the time I get there so we'll uh, rest up a little bit there and we'll start crossing the river again Just made it down to the Gila River. First crossings right there. Check this stuff out. Oh, that canyon that we just walked through was awesome. I feel like it's about to get good down here. So I'm super excited for this next little stretch, but I'm gonna pack off for a little bit, eat some lunch, and uh, we'll get our feet wet.
I am at camp. I am all set up. I am beat. It was a long, hard day. Ended up doing like 19 miles out of Doc Campbell's plus the three or four I did at the Gila Quiff Dwellings. So hard day plus 68 more river crossings, which brings my total to 121 or something like that, I think. So yeah, hard day. Feet are soggy. I want to get them dry. Um, but yeah, I've got an awesome spot here right on the river. Beautiful cliff sides. What more do you want? I got a beefy mac for dinner. It's one of my new meals this year and I have not had it yet. So I'm curious how that's going to be. The portion looks very large, which is good because I am hungry tonight. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to do my thing here, cook up some dinner and probably crash out. It was a good day.